love this episode. <laughs> I know. Dude. Uh, oh. Do, right. do we, item, item one. Boo! Boo! <laughs> Boo! Yes, Boo! 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 <laughs> Boo! Yeah, I'm inclined to believe every rumor or speculation or theory people have had about the series just because we, we just started. It's only episode three and we just had something that big happen. So... I'm, yeah, I'm like, like, I, I, I'm, yeah, I don't know. Like, it's just people like theorizing about, like, oh, yeah, a bow might turn up. Uh, someone said that bow might turn up in this episode. Oh, well, actually, no, I don't think anyone even said that she turned up this episode. Someone said they thought. The theory I saw was that, um, it's the theory of something like it's going to turn out that, um, Sasha or, um, Mercedes, same, mm. um, by our acting name. Yeah. Um, so Mercedes is going to turn out to be at playing a Mandalorian. Din finds her and her group and they find, and they tell him about Bo and how Bo has been captured and has been held prisoner by the Empire. And then that's what the next episode is, that is him cool. and Kara yeah. and Grip going to bust her out. Yeah. But I was like, no, 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 actually, she's going, she's, she's, turn, just here. she's turning up. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's turning, turning up, to up like a badass. <laughs> she turns yeah. up to precipitate the reveal of Ahsoka rather than someone else turning it's... up to precipitate the reveal of both. I am, Dude, it's like, huge. Like, that 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 moment when like he said the you know he, you know he's looking for the Jedi and she's like what do you know the Jedi sort of thing and she's sort of like there's that look she had of okay well what Jedi does she know? So yeah. alright cool. But the fact that she just straight up said there you'll find a Sokotano it's like yeah. what? <laughs> we just we just started and he's already his mission going yeah. to the next episode. I don't think Ahsoka's gonna be in the next episode. Yeah, we will. Yeah, I don't think we'll, so because yeah, we'll yeah we were talking that. about that before yeah, as well. We'll yeah, we'll get to that in a second. But just the fact that Din's mission at this point is to find Ahsoka Tano, like. <laughs> It's just become so much more real. Uh, yeah, the fact that it's been said, it's and it's, been, it's just I, like, oh my god, we're actually going to see her. I, so it's like, I was not expecting that to happen this quickly. Um, yeah. yeah, I don't think anyone did. Jeez. It was so quick. It's, it's, it's I, I don't know what. To, <laughs> there's a lot to say about this episode. It's like not a lot happened in the actual events of the episode. Like he met the Mandalorians, they went on a mission. That's more or less what it is. But it's what it's set up and the the. That it's just it's just like on paper not a lot happens but it's what's set up and what you know what just what happens the fact that Bo was there she's told him to go find Ahsoka it's like she's like on this massive quest to get the dark saber back yeah yeah um yeah it's like I I I I don't know I was not expecting this this early and we got five episodes left to go or yeah we got so yeah. many episodes and then it's like what are they gonna do in those and five episodes the only f- other episode we have accounted for from the trailer we've seen the ice planet we've seen the water planet we've seen tatooine the only thing else we know is there's a ship there's another ship yeah there's that's like there's them there's grief Kara and Din on a Star Destroyer, what it looks like. Yeah, and they're so going... Yeah. There's that other part where they're going back to Navarro. Yeah. And, and the, nothing the, else! And that's it. Yeah, we, I'm pretty sure everything we've... I get the feeling that this episode next week on Navarro is going to have the Star Destroyer there. That's where they're going to be all down with Star Destroyer. And then for the final four episodes season, we have seen nothing of what happens. Which happened is there. perfect. Exactly. And this yeah, is something... Exactly. We spoke about this when Star Wars... The Clone Wars came out. Because we yeah. were all like, if they give trailers out for Order 66, it's like... Why would they yeah, do that? Yeah. But then they did it, and it was like, the thank God. Nothing. So it's like, yeah. at least they're holding back, and they're not showing everything. Yeah, that's so that's like, thank God. That's I'm so glad that like lots of people saying when the first, we, I think I talked about this in um the first the first podcast um that when the first trailer came out and everyone was saying it just looks kind of samey and not like, different from the first season. I just I just hope it's not pandering to like sort of stuff of first season. It's like and it's new and fresh and adding stuff and that sort of thing, and. In the first episode, we got confirmation that they are indeed doing that. It's just literally the trailer, they only showed w- the bare minimum of what they could show. Exactly. Yeah. They don't want to obviously yeah. give everything away. And even that, like, they could have, if they wanted to, they could have showed mm. Boba Fett's armor or some something like that. And yeah. then everyone, yeah. that obviously would have kicked off excitement. But they want to keep everything a surprise, which I think is yeah. really good. Because it's like, as you watch it, you're getting excited for, like, the next part of the story instead of watching a trailer yeah. and then being like, Oh, this happens here. This happens here, and that happens yeah. there. So yeah, exactly. I think yeah. it's, I like it's the good, way that they've done it. It's a good marketing system in mm. that they let, um, especially when um, I've seen lots of people refer to Mando as like a prime example of how well the 
traditional like weekly release format of a TV show yeah. can work compared to, compared to like the Netflix format and how like with a Netflix TV series re- release quite often, it's sort of like it'll happen and then people will talk about it for a week and that's it. Yeah. Whereas something like Mando, it's like it is. It's it's, it's like being... one of the main talking points of about half of the week, day in day out for like yeah, over, yeah. like quite a few months. It's going to be a talking point until the end of December. You know, yeah. probably yeah, and, and even into like, next year yeah. as well. And even with yeah. like the Obi Wan series coming, people will yeah. still be talking about Mandalorian because it's like yeah. so amazing. Yeah, and it's like I think that I saw a great um. Uh, this is just going off a thumbnail for a YouTube video I saw by. This video I say I saw where it's like there's just a video I saw about Mandalorian. The thumbnail had a picture of Cobb in the Boba Fett armor, and it just said, "Was it fan service done right?" Ooh. And I think I agree. I agree with that. That's like what Man is doing. It's it reminds me to a degree like like with um like with Vader and Rogue One too, where it's like he's oh, yeah. here because it makes sense that he would be here during these events. Bo is here because it makes sense she'd be here during these events. He encounters him. He's looking for Mandalorians. He finds her. She's trying to lead the Mandalorians. That makes sense. Makes sense she'd be here. And she, he needs to find a Jedi. Well, it makes sense what Jedi would Bo know that she'd send him to. And exactly. so it's like Ahsoka and Bo aren't just in the show just because they're here because it makes sense that they would be here. Mm-hmm. And it's also blowing my mind that when they said that stuff from season seven the clone wars is gonna set up stuff in mando how directly they meant that that this yeah. is ahsoka and Bo are back in mando like yeah because like, i just thought they're gonna mention their names and i was yeah. like oh, okay cool that's fine but they're actually in yeah. the show that's huge it, like and yeah we last saw them yeah they they last interacted during the siege of mandalore siege they didn't interact they yeah. didn't interact at all in rebels ahsoka was already presumed dead by that point yeah that's on, yeah. on uh malachor so, yeah, they, they didn't meet at any point in Rebels, but then we've set up them as two guys know each other from Clone Wars, and then we're leading directly into this. Like, when they when they said that stuff from Season 7 of Clone Wars is going to set up stuff in Mando, I thought, all right, yeah, it'll be stuff about the Mandalorians and stuff that happened on Mandalore, that sort of thing. So, mm-hmm. No, 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 it's Ahsoka and Bo's relationship that's been set up, and that yeah. they know each other, and that's where we're going with it. And it's like... Okay, I wasn't expecting that so soon, but here we go. It's so <laughs> quick. Like, we keep saying it because we didn't yeah. expect it. Like, you know, like, in the aftermath even, we were saying, like, oh, yeah, maybe Bo's going to be mentioned. Maybe she's maybe she mm. died off screen, which we none of us were happy with. Yeah. That's... But then, like, the fact that she came on screen, like, I screamed when I saw her because she I... was just like, what? I, I, <laughs> she I, looks I amazing. Watched... Yeah, I watched your reaction. That's, like, that yeah. moment, <laughs> it's, um... Oh, oh. I've got it's a cool thing to definitely... keep talking. I'm just going to go find okay, a thing. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. definitely something that needs to be brought up is like, I think when they showed uh, in the flashback in season one, when they showed Din being rescued by the Death Watch soldiers during Clone Wars. And I thought it, it's cool. I, I personally thought the Death Watch armor looks a little bit, not, not as cool outside of Clone Wars. I think it's because mm. it's, it's matte because of the paint on it. It's not shiny like Din's yeah. and Django's. It's sort of, it just looks a little too, I don't know. It, it 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 just yeah. It, it just looked a little too. Um. It just didn't look as cool as it did in Clone Wars. But oh, okay. Yeah. Fair enough. And then people are, they're saying that Bo is gonna be a series. But I really hope that her armor like translates well to live action because it's definitely an arm. It's a suit that's and costume is designed. Does it? <laughs> it's, yeah. It's like it looks. I literally saw someone. Oh, she I, I, looks like a goddess. Like the, I can't even just. Someone, yeah, she looks so good. Someone posted a picture of like her just standing there, standing in the corridor of the um, uh, Kazanti, Kazanti, uh, right? Yeah, the Kazanti. Yeah. yeah, standing in the corridor of Kazanti. Uh, I know all the ships. <laughs> <laughs> just standing there in armor, and it was like I saw it. Like I, I didn't open it to like full screen. I just saw it there. So low screen foot. That looks like a shot from Rebels or Clone Wars. It looks, yeah, it it's... genuinely just looks like a freeze frame from the Clone Wars. And even just that moment when she like turns around, I was like, oh my God, the lighting, everything like, just like, it looks so good. And I was just suit... like a giddy child. It looks so good. The suit, the suit looks flawless. It's good. Like, it, like it has a, bit, a few scrapes and stuff, but of course, cause she's been in like the siege and everything, but like, yeah. it just still looks so it's, pristine. It's and also just so good. 
like how do you describe it like i think another thing that makes the death watch armor of the male soldiers look a little odd is i guess the proportions of them in clone wars mm. is very much like sort of thinner around the legs and waist and then building up to like yeah. a broad, broad shoulders and chest and that sort of thing so then when you actually see someone dressed in like it and sort of it just plus the other dude's just like, got a dorky paint job on his helmet it's true. just yeah. like not gonna lie. compared to bows <laughs> it's like I think you know like, yeah just yeah. like yeah, compared to first season, and obviously yeah. with the budget, we talked about this in the first episode yeah. of Aftermath. With the budget, it's probably like a lot better to like make the suits and stuff a lot more better. The thing that uh, stood out to me, like of what they did so well, the design of like little things, like you see, like you know, um, oftentimes you see like uh, with like uh, home, like like when so when you translate something like from animation that can be certain proportions to live action like the helmet will look maybe oversized or something like mm. that or the armor look, it will look so a little bit off when it look as cool as it does in animation because you can make it be whatever you want in yeah animation. whatever you want yeah and i think what it really stood out is the fact that like like I, i'm just guessing like just i think katie looks pretty tall and pretty like you know uh muscular whereas mm. bo is animated in clone wars being like pretty skinny just because that's like yeah. how they sort of model the female characters in clone wars but it's like the way they design the armor just gives her that same profile where it's yeah. like the armor is the right proportions to her body that makes her look that same sort of profile while still she looks still you know looks muscular the big <laughs> test is going to be a so mm. and how yeah. that's the thing but they, they need to get her, that right if they yeah. can make her look real what the, the major yeah. things that i think stands out to me what would uh, realism and close to uh is i think a decent amount of they gotta have a, a which they sort of proved with the twi'leks they've shown array and the quarren mm. they gotta have a decent amount of movement on a montrals if they're too yeah. static yeah, they look yeah. like they're too fake they gotta look yeah. like they're part of her like so once she moves they and rebels they move quite yeah they're a bit, like they so, move as well so yeah so yeah. that's sort of thing that's, that's little the thing that they they'll bring the, right. the realism i know from what people have supposedly said from what they've seen of her that she looks fantastic but we, we'll see like the yeah, the, yeah we'll the, see. i mean yeah if you if you had told me that Bo would look unbelievable and perfect and like just exactly like she stepped mm. off the screen i wouldn't have believed you just because it's like it's just but come on it's just like the whole idea of you're taking an animated character and translating into live action is just it's and never I mean, going to be perfect but oh, then yeah. it's like mm. you know so, and again yeah. i mean Dave is like, you know, he he mm. he holds a circle close to his heart, especially because he finished the season seven of Clone mm. Wars. I feel like if he's involved, I trust him because, yeah. like, you know, and just that whole Mandalorian team has done so much in just like in such a year as well, like with post production mm. and stuff. They've already done this like amazing mm. three first episodes. So mm. I'm just like imagining what they could do in the next few episodes of the season and the confirmed season three. So yes. yeah, it's exciting. I, I think I like what they're setting up with Mando. Like, I, it, I like that it feels like it's the sort of thing that can have this plot that can go on for uh, like four seasons. Mm. Yeah, um, definitely. Was this, this the line that, um, that, um, um, oh, I've completely blanked on his name. Give me a second. <laughs> uh oh no <laughs> sorry it is not there's no offense to him i do this i just forget names um moff gideon oh giancarlo Giancarlo. okay now i remember it now i remember now to ask um but yeah uh you have something i want (laughs) (laughs) thank you xander um but yeah giancarlo was he said something like that talking about the story and everything he said the plot and so like you know it's like they have so many plans and everything he said three and four is where it's really gonna kick off that's what you just sort of casually said <laughs> like you know <laughs> oh we're three episodes into season two and oh, oh you yeah, mean it four. hasn't kicked off <laughs> no, what do you mean it hasn't kicked way. off we're yeah. episode three and bo's there but, yeah if this is not kicking off then what's kicking off going to I be know. like <laughs> well, just wait well i mean he said he's shot lightsaber fights so exactly we, if, how yeah, we haven't kicked true. off just that's yet the possibility of an ahsoka versus gideon jewel seems more that likely be, now that's that the thing yeah. i mean it, it's Thematically, a bow versus Gideon jewel is probably going to be well, what it'll be. Mm. But even then, oh, it's and like... Ahsoka maybe. Maybe bow and Ahsoka. Yeah. Ahsoka's got two lightsabers. Should give one to bow. Well, know. that's the thing. I wonder. I'm wondering is she going to have a lightsaber still? I, I think Ahsoka. I, I think yeah. I, I think when we see her survive Mortis with Ezra when she goes back mm. to, sorry, not Mortis, um, Malachor, she still has them on her belt. I think. I think she does. I, can't remember. I need so, to check. 
I'm pretty sure she did. I'm pretty sure she's still. She. I'm, I think she's well, still. She's has just them. got the stuff in the at the end yeah. of Rebels. But then again, she's wearing yeah. she's wearing a cloak, so it could just be under the cloak. Maybe. I, I'm not sure. Um, and maybe she just maybe she stopped using them. Yeah. And maybe maybe I'm not sure. Maybe when Din goes and sees her, and maybe she refuses, but then she sees this new cause, and then she'll be like, oh, maybe yeah. I should help them out, and then uses the yeah. lightsabers. Now you, you know what's the fun little be- thing I thought of. Um, yeah. 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 She's got her staff. She uses that most of the time. Lightsaber is something she only like sort of like whips out when she really, really needs it. Something yeah. that means she should A, be taking inspiration from Yoda and doing that, but also should be um, paying her homage to Terra Sanube then. Oh, yeah, the yeah. Oh, yeah, true. Because yeah. he had his staff he had that, this, you know. Cane that he had the, yeah. He actually had a, an almost white lightsaber and there was like ice blue. Did, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm interested. Here's something that uh, you and me talked about briefly last night, Sandra. Uh, something that stands out is okay. This is going to be interesting for what Ahsoka is up to at this point in time. Is this is five years after Return of the Jedi? What we see in Rebels is that Ezra vanishes, um, like a year shortly before a new hope. Shortly before yeah. a new hope, right? He vanishes. Yeah. He's gone. He took Thrawn with him. Mm-hmm. he's gone he's right? out of here yeah he's gone, he's, he's gone. <laughs> yeah. that boy is gone yeah <laughs> um and then like then the four years of four five years it's four years right between new hope and four Jedi. years yeah four, yeah yeah four years there's year three between... years between a new hope and empire then one year between empire and return of the jedi what is only... oh yeah 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 sorry i got them confused yeah Man- mando is set nine years after the battle yeah. of yavin okay, so yeah. that's yeah five years after return of the jedi yeah. okay yeah makes sense um so yeah, so they Ezra went missing, and then everything kicked off in the galaxy. Sabine and everyone fought in multiple battles. They won, beat the Empire, and then that's where we see Sabine at the end of Rebels. It's now like after return after uh, after Return of Jedi, they won. The galaxy is like prospering because of this victory against the Empire, and she finally, her and Ahsoka can then go and begin their search for Ezra, right? This is now five years later, mm. and Ahsoka is now settled down somewhere on a planet that Bo's confident, yeah, she'll be there, meaning she stays there. So either they didn't find Ezra, or they did, or they gave up, or something stopped them. They were looking for Ezra five years ago, but now she's somewhere seemingly not looking for Ezra. So true, true. they true. find him. Did they fail in finding him? What happens? Um, I reckon I- we'll, oh, we'll get a hint. We'll get a hint at that, but we won't find out. We won't get any sort of yeah. explicit confirmation of what happened because, like, yeah. they'll and and as much as like they kind of left a few things open about the siege of Mandalore in Rebels whenever yeah. they talked about it, so they could then deal with it in the Clone Wars and like properly explain it further. That's what I think they're gonna do. Yeah, that, yeah. That, that's it. It's because like there's a story in that. There's a great story in that. There's no way that's they're just true, going yeah. to skip it over. Yeah, exactly. Know. They can't skip it. It's just yeah. too good. Yeah. What What I'm kind of curious about would be mm. if uh, uh, Corvus is where Bo said Ahsoka was and if um, if Rex is there with her. Because we already have tomorrow on the cast, so I could buy it that he could be playing oh, Rex as well and if he's God. with her on... The possibilities, dude! Yeah, I, I'm, and, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm really curious to see what's going to happen. And I'm wondering if that... I'm just, I'm just saying this just because I'm hoping that those... Just, these, yes, sir? Just imagine. Mm-hmm. Rex finally getting just like he's set, he's like finally settles down after you know all these like you know is yeah. spending his whole life yeah. in warfare and then finally like Cutler Queen he gets to just like settle down and like you know just yeah. like retire and just like you know no I'm just chilling here with my best friend you know yeah. we're just like you know growing vegetables or something yeah, yeah. just relaxing um yeah and and then like Thanos just... but good yeah. but like but, but, but like good, bad, but, but like a good guy better, better. yeah yeah, um... yeah. <laughs> But now I'm wondering if uh, what do you call it? Like like the the, the fear you just presented. If if um Kara could know Rex because yeah. she might have yeah. uh, fought with him as part of the shock trooper thing. That could um, come up later in the season. It could, yeah. Possibly. Yeah. If she, if she uh, if mm-hmm. her and grief go with Din to Corvus to find Ahsoka and then she, she encounters yeah. Rex there, that could maybe. Yeah. yeah. Um. But yeah, I think the next episode is going to... Din's be- trying to convince Ahsoka to help them. Kara convinces Rex. And then yeah, Grief just hangs with the baby. Ahsoka. Yeah, Maybe. Yeah, yeah. That, I could see that. Like, I think... Because I think what's going to happen next episode... I'm pretty sure the next episode is definitely 
well not definitely but i'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be no the one, i'm one, pretty sure yeah because the simplest reason they say that it's carl weathers episode so it's yes. probably gonna be the one yeah because like doing. i don't think he, he's no in. offense yeah. to carl weathers he's an amazing actor and director but i don't think they would give him an episode where one of the most anticipated yeah. characters yeah. is coming back I think mm. the, so, give him give him yeah. a, like a, a nice sort of what it seems like it's gonna be a nice action one just on yeah. Navarro. A small filler yeah. one, but it's yeah. keeping yeah. you know that excitement and I, building. And I, and I feel like episode. yeah, because we've seen like the starters that the, the three of them on a star destroyer. We've seen speeder bikes jumping lo- off of what looks like a star destroyer that's in low orbit, so then like you know uh, sh- uh, like drive around the planet after. Um, whoever they're chasing and we've seen din jetpacking above a plant with like black rocks and lava fields yeah. oh and when we were watching i wasn't sure where that was i thought it might have been sullust because that's what it looks like in oh, battlefront yeah. battlefront but then rewatch rewatching season one oh no that's what navarro looks like so, okay so mm. all that action pretty sure all the star destroyer stuff all the, the stuff for the other yeah, speeder bikes and then din jetpacking around that's all in navarro so i'd assume that probably because they pissed off moff gideon in this episode he's going to go to navarro specifically with he needs uh, he knows where to go to find. Maybe he's gonna go talk to the armorer about mm. the jet about where that Bogotan and Jedi, and he's gonna go find a Jedi and say to, to Grief and Kara, "I need your help. I'm gonna go find his Jedi. Can you come with me?" That sort of thing. And then while they're all discussing that, while they're all just you know uh, reuniting basically and having that moment, then a Star Destroyer comes into orbit, I like yeah. or something like that. Like, and maybe that's when they find out that Gideon's still alive. Mm. because because i don't think yeah i don't think yeah they don't know if that he's yeah alive uh, like the the guy the imperial um officer on the ship that bo was interrogating he referred Titus Wolliver to... from agents of shield yeah yeah and from a bunch of other things but he, oh yeah, cool he, he's in it he referred uh, to um yeah he referred he not with name but he indirectly referred to gideon we said like you know she said does he have it and they're talking about it but din wasn't paying attention so he doesn't yeah. know who they're talking about he, he doesn't know that that's gideon and that he's still alive yeah, yeah. Um, oh my god really okay <laughs> i'll be back all good hang on this work hang on just duck out of frame once you get yours going all right let's just come back to this oh it's got to be high resolution in order to work just, oh, just pick something just pick something I know, I know. I'm picking something. I'm picking something. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I hate we're, you guys so we're, much. We're, 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 we're making contents. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we're, just, we're just filling time. Don't worry. <clears throat> I'm uh, But anyway. Uh, uh, right. yeah, yeah, what were we talking about again? Um, <laughs> uh, Moff. And oh, Din yeah, not yeah. knowing it's yeah. him. Yeah. yeah, Din doesn't know he's alive. I think that he's going to... Something, the Star Destroyer, he's going to send it. They're going to find he's alive from that. They're going to have to fight the Stormtroopers. And then maybe maybe he doesn't want Grief and Kara to come with him. Maybe he just wanted to... Uh, he was just here to talk to Armora and he just encountered them. But in any case, I think they will go with him because they ha- can't stay on Navarro because mm. the Empire are hanging around. So yeah. then they'll be with him when he goes to find Ahsoka. That's one, my bet. And then definitely, I think we're definitely getting Ahsoka uh episode after that like yeah next one's gonna be this one the Ra- yeah. Navarro and then next week after that we're gonna get the Soka one because that episode is directed by Dave Filoni. Yeah, yeah. That, and that that's can't yeah. be a coincidence. Yeah. That's what that's what me yeah. and Alex were talking about really yeah. like just early earlier when we were prepping. Like and again, I think Dave is has to be the one to like do yeah. that properly. Cause like that's all his like yeah. his, I, his territory. He's his baby. The fifth episode mm-hmm. in the last season was directed by directed oh, by Dave. That's true. Oh! So he's, he's probably right, going to be writing this one. Also, uh, just before we go on to predictions for the f- future episodes, mm. can we just give a round of applause for Bryce for handling yes, this episode? Yes. So beautiful? We've been waiting for that. Yeah. yeah. Is, that was I didn't brilliant. even know she was directing this season. And when I saw yeah, I didn't know that. They had like, announced it. Yeah. I was like, excuse me? I was like, she, what? That was perfect. She's a really, really good director. Yeah, she's really um, good. Mom I've seen point. like all over Twitter. Everybody's saying, "Okay, she yeah. needs to do a film. It's something she's got to do a Star Wars film." film. Yeah. Like, get, no offense, JJ Abrams, go away. Like, let Bryce <laughs> do it. I was uh, saying though to Mitch, I think I I want to see her do a um do like a either a short film or maybe even just like a sort of like a mm. smaller feature, like something an hour long yeah. in the Jurassic universe. Yeah, mm. she seems to really. She really is. Um, I really admire the fact, um, that like. The fact that she's like she's been brought up as part of the like grew up in like in the film industry or something and she really like she really 
just loves it and is like so ama- like such a fan of like all of it like she just just said that like you know uh when the, uh when they're doing the um the behind the scenes of um keep talking i'll be back uh, when they're doing the behind the scenes of uh um uh, yeah mando behind and yeah. behind the scenes of mando and they just sort of you know she just mentioned that she was you know she was there on the set of jurassic when they're making it that um her and Ron were invited. To, well, Ron was invited to come and look, and so he brought her along. She got to see like all the dinosaurs. Yeah, probably look here, making a movie. Yeah, yeah. you'll like this. And you then, know. Yeah. you know, and then what? Thirty years later, then um, she's in the new Jurassic Park movies or Jurassic World movies. It's like, yeah, it's perfect. That's, that's really, I, that's really cool. I think that she's like, you know, a, a fan of them from like, and the fact that she said like, yeah, she remembers going to the set, and then she also remembers going to see the movie. And like, since she's like a it's like she's been a fan since then, and then like you know she's just like yeah she's just she grew up around these movies being made, and is a fan of them like as well as the fan of the production of it, and then now she's involved with it. I think that's really cool. Yeah, and it just shows that fans who are like um, passionate about like what they're doing, it just shows mm. like it comes out and shows in their work. Yeah. So then it shows to us that they really care about the product. So yeah, it's exactly. like, especially with the Mandalorian, we've seen it from oh, the yeah. beginning. Yeah, so yeah. this is something I love. And I remember, like, I, w- I will admit, I was really nervous when she was going to do a few, ep- like, the episode last season. But yeah. she did it so well. And I was like, mm. oh, damn. We yeah. need more, like, episodes from her. So thankfully she did this episode. Yeah, it, so that was good. She, yes, I know that there's, there's some people mm. that complain about the first, the first episode she did as being, like, a little weak and, like, just sort of that kind of, like, the Seven Samurai sort of plot. Mm-hmm. That like that's something that I thought. Well, I mean, you can only do so much with that kind of story. It's been done so many times. Like exactly. even in the Clone Wars, they did their own homage yeah. to it. And like there's, it's like, but I I I I really really liked what things that she did do with it. And also a lot of stuff. I mean, the, the people were complaining about was like, well, I mean, that's really to do with the writing, which technically John yeah. Favreau did. Yeah. So, but yeah. like the like when she, the idea of okay, let's have an ATST, and then like, it's. It's fine having it written in the script that this is just this is presented as like this is a scary ATST, but then the way that Bryce directed it and featured the thing where like it's yeah. it's terrifying. It's like yeah, some it's of, terrifying. Like, it's that's... such a perfect homage back to like Jurassic One as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, that's that's definitely the thing yeah. that's, that stood out about how she directed the ATST is that there's moments where this feels like something out of Jurassic Park with the way it's directed. This like we see the the just see that the trees crashed over and the footprints through the woods is like this monstrous yeah. thing. Has been through here and like the that sort of directing she did a really good job of that yeah and yeah i have no i i i i am intrigued of like and especially why i think um, i'd love to see her director drastically because she has had like a bit of a penchant for sort of monsters in yeah. her shows like even just very very briefly in this one there was like that thing you know the sort of like the water sarlacc basically yeah. that was like you know and it's like yeah, cool. I, I mean, because I always love like sort of Jahara and stuff. I thought, oh, I want to <laughs> Jahara film or something. That'd be really cool, yeah. you know. Yeah, but even was, like with her, yeah. I feel like even like yeah. last episode, l- not yeah. last episode, but last season's yeah. episode, there yeah. were really like I don't know domestic moments in it. I guess yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Moments. So like last yeah. time it was like she... Din and that woman who was from that village. Yeah. I can't remember her name off the top yeah. of my head. But it's just Frog Lady. I'm pretty sure is all we've been calling her. I don't. I don't... No, 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 no. From the, the, the from the first date. Oh, sorry. Know. Yeah, yeah, my yeah. Bad. From yeah. the sorry, village. Sorry. Um, like there was sorry, like about Frog Lady. My <laughs> bad. <Yeah. laughs> well, I will say that reunion was really sweet. It was yeah. really cute. Um, but yeah, last season when Bryce did that episode too, like I really enjoyed the really soft moments, like with uh, Din and that woman, and just talking about you yeah. know like the culture and stuff. And then this episode with Baby Yoda, we saw mm. a lot of that, like you know horrifying moment when baby Yoda oh, got God. swallowed like oh dude but God. then like you know like even yeah. with din jumping in the water trying to save him and just that desperation like yeah i mm. loved all that and then him just like holding baby Yoda. And the 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 um i don't know what you call it the cradle i guess it, it, it's got destroyed mm. yeah it did like, yeah it's gone he's just yeah, he's just, yeah. He's just yeah. got he's just got to carry the little shit around he just needs <laughs> <a papoose. laughs> <I know. laughs> oh yeah that'll work <laughs> Or get Scott like a dad, a dad purse or something yeah. like the yeah. one he had in the first episode. Yeah, yeah. that worked. <laughs> um, I, I do like that the baby sort of finally showed seem to seem to finally have some sort of connection with the 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 the, 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 the frogs, the little little yeah. ones. Like the uh-huh. finally when he's, he actually sort of was like a. They taught him to see the arrow of his ways. You know. Yeah, he, so, he sort <laughs> yeah. of started to connect to them. I mean, yeah. then again, they learned to the fish our friends, not food. Yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I, I do think I like that. Um, what they can do with 
the child, I think they have been doing, is by him being a really strong force force user, but he is still a child and doesn't know better, that he can sort of, he's going back and forth between his E. Like when um Grief got shot, he healed him. Like, but then when Kara was potentially threatening Din, he like force choked her. It's like stuff like that where it's like he doesn't know better and he's just doing that sort of thing. Also, it goes me, he hasn't used the force this season yet. Yeah, no, he hasn't. I'm, I'm yeah. guessing. Well, I mean, uh, that, that's the thing. I was thinking about it too like, yesterday, like after we, mm. you and I spoke, Mitch, and I was just thinking mm. about it. But like, I'm guessing, like, and I guess this is like a weak thing to say, but I guess maybe he's still healing from that big attack yeah. with the fire. Yeah, yeah that, it, was, it, you, that was that was like intense, I yeah. think the most force power mm. he's used against something like holding back flames. Yeah. So I guess maybe he's still regenerating yeah. power. <laughs> I mean, so, yeah. he'll, he'll do something in the episode of Ahsoka because he's, yeah, got, to show, so he's got to show yeah. with her, show her that he can use the force. You know, exactly. so he'll, he'll do something. Oh, uh, they're gonna they're gonna do a callback to in um. Remember the episode of the Clone Wars where Cad Bane was with the, going oh, around the, finding with all the, the four young... sense of younglings. Oh yeah, and there was yes. the little Rodian that had the ball. It was just like playing oh, with making yeah, the ball yeah, float. Yeah. If, if Ahsoka's like, if, gonna if do if that. Ahsoka's she's just gonna like she's gonna levitate it. Yeah, Ahsoka like if she just has a ball and she just like throws it over to him and he just sort of catches it. Yeah. Like, yeah, in the air. Yeah, just in the air. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Something like that. Yes. That would be, yeah. Yeah, That'd some, be a some, cool callback. Some, something like that. If it's like, yeah, so, something like that where it just does something with the force. Yeah. Because yeah, so. she's going to she's gonna test him in that way. She's going like, to like, like these little subtle tests that she would have oh, learned. Wait, like, this is how on. a Jedi can figure out that a younglings force sensitive. I, you know? I, I, yeah. I was just going to say, he hasn't levitated anything yet, has he? Oh, no, wait, he levitated the, the mud horn. Oh, yeah. I completely yeah. forgot. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, compared to a rock, that's gonna be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We just like he's just gonna have to show that he can use the Force to her. Um, but um, yeah, I'm excited to see that. Like Ahsoka, sort of. Um, yeah, just sort of just trying to like figure out how strong this young Lee is, and it just occurred to me that she's only seen. I'm pretty sure uh, one of Yoda's species before, or maybe yeah. she might have Which seen. Which is Yoda, right? Yeah, yeah, she might. She might yeah. have seen um, Yaddle, who's another oh, yeah. Jedi Council member. Maybe, but she would have been really young when she would have seen her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, she's probably only seen one, maybe two of your species. So she'd be very like, um, yeah, very intrigued by that. This yeah, I'm is excited a, to see her reaction. I don't think they'll do this because I think this would be going a little too, f- maybe a little too far with cameos. But wouldn't it be insane? She has force connected with Yoda's ghost before. I mean... <sighs> Oh my God! If, it could oh, yeah. maybe, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe. Also, yeah, I, yeah. I think what'd be really great is some kind of reference in some way to uh, Anakin directly, and something about just something about talking about like her and Anakin to set up the Obi Wan series. And maybe like, yeah, there'll like, be like a little reference, a little a reference. Little small, I, little too, like, yeah. I hope it's yeah. not too big, but just like yeah. a teeny yeah. tiny yeah, like, reference. Like, yeah. like Hayden doesn't need to be in the show, but just yeah. like just she just mentions him or something like that. That'd be a nice mm. little touch. Got a theory. Yeah, this is just it. like a little like sort of like um just going back to the whole idea of like Ahsoka meeting the child. I think like um because I was thinking just before I thought um it's not going to, I mean because there's the thing I've seen lots of people talk about of like the idea of bringing in characters from clone wars and rebels into mando it's like mm. it is it's the mandalorian it's a show about din you know it's like yeah. the word that is it's just gonna this is just gonna be the rex and bo and ahsoka show then you know if it's like if it's all um just with them and i thought well i mean trying to get the child back to its that back to its species i thought well i mean ahsoka would probably be a big part of that i thought is it going to end up of like mando and ahsoka traveling together trying to get the baby back and i thought they probably wouldn't do that. But then I thought, oh, wait, wait, what if? What if? What I do is introduce the baby to us. Okay, that's what the fifth episode is about. She does. She sort of just stays there on Corvus, maybe comes back into the fray in the season final or something in the second, mm-hmm. at the end of the second season. Set up the fact that she's going to go and learn more about species, like sort of go around to some of the ancient Jedi temples. She's just going to be going off and doing her own thing, but like dropping back in every now and then to say, that, okay, I've learned some more stuff about it because having it as like the end of Mando's journey goes, okay, yeah, the a Jedi, here we go. Found a Jedi. Here's the child here. There we go. I can leave now. Yeah. But then Ahsoka's like, well, I can't help you here. I don't know. I don't know where to take the child. I, yeah. I could help you find out, but I don't know. And then having it, that's sort of, he's then going to be with the child for longer than 
it anticipated. I hope so. I don't want be to there as like a... leave the show so yeah. quickly. Yeah. This is his story. Yeah. So that's yeah. why. That's yeah. why yeah. I, I will say like that was what was worrying me too. But, yeah. and this is what I'm so happy about is like now Din knows, uh, and I was going to bring this up as well because this is something I really wanted to talk about, but Din's identity. So now yeah. he knows yeah. like there are Mandalorians who take off their helmet and stuff and he's yeah. on the watch. And we brought this up before, but yeah. like someone in my comment section also said, um, what if there are people who left the Death Watch and became the Watch? So yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. so people were saying like maybe it's another I mean, version. But... Yeah, yeah. That, that makes sense because Din was rescued by guys dressed in Death Watch armor. Mm. So, so that's why yeah. he was saying, and I was like, maybe. So then maybe yeah. they were not stricter, but maybe they just followed like yeah. the same thing as Death Watch, but maybe just didn't want to like... kill people. Yeah, it's stuff like it's stuff you see. You, it's definitely, it's like it's never like the way is something that's never like, been brought up in like in other Star Wars stuff. But mm. it's definitely like compared to like uh, Death Watch or like Django or Boba, which is I mean Django and Boba are really really Mandalorians. I mean yeah. Django was, but he isn't anymore. Um, but compared to um, like what do you call it? Yeah, compared compared to. Like what we see in Clone Wars with Mandalorians, it's very much like in uh, Knights of the Republic and stuff. I'm pretty sure Mandalorians basically there's Mandalorians that just never take their helmet off. So like it's it's something it's it's something that like has never been like um, set up in recent stuff, but it's and it's never been set up directly. But it's sort of always been been there that they do never not take the helmets off for life. Mm. It also occurred to me that maybe um, he was uh, like. I don't know, trying to try trying to connect more with his culture or something. I don't know, but it occurred to me that Boba never takes his helmet off. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's the thing yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. As, as we see him when he's like at the highest career, his bounty hunter in his green and uh, brown armor, he never takes his helmet off. He's always wearing yeah. it. Yeah. I think I personally, I personally always thought of that as being like sort of like kind of different in as much as like um, as he gets older and he would look sort of like to begin to look like more identical to Django yeah, and sort of I like he wouldn't that. he wouldn't it probably would be like you know it'd be like just like you know a painful reminder not the most but yeah not a kind of painful to just like sort of anytime he sees a reflection he just sees his father who died yeah. you know yeah. and then as well the clones is sort of set up that he has a bit of a kind of kind of a bit of a funny relationship with all of them because yeah he looks at them and they just look like his father and then yeah. all of the younger ones just look like him as well and it's like well you know this yeah. sort of identity crisis thing it's like if he wears the helmet and like he's then boba fett the mandalorian then he's like he gets to be his own person yeah. rather than just Jango being fett one amongst son. many so yeah i'm guessing it's a very old tradition of like keeping yeah. the helmet on not saying a name mm. and mm, then yeah. like it with satine it changed mm. but then yeah. yeah like you said death watch and then perhaps like a, a faction of death watch maybe broke off from there not wanting to kill people but wanting to remain like yeah probably to the traditional way of mandalore so mm. yeah. but i'm i'm still like i'm wondering how din's gonna take it when he finds out like the extent of what de what excuse me what death watch was because yeah you know they were serious criminals yeah. and stuff and what they did was like you know they stole children from different planets so i'm i'm worried yeah. i'm worried but I'm also like excited to see how that affects Din and that, like his thoughts about the way and stuff. Yeah, that that's an interesting uh, notion that he wasn't what I call it. He wasn't rescued; he was recruited. And like, yeah, yeah. And he mm. that they he sees it as like yeah, they saved me. That yeah, they saved my life, and like um, they raised me to be one of their own. That sort of thing. But it's, it, but the different perspective. Or did they? Were they just? Some of the, and yeah, and then somebody else can be like, yeah, bro, they were kind of a cult, you know? Yeah. And yeah, like, <laughs> yeah like that, that's, that's an interesting mindset. So, like, you know, they, they saved yeah. his life before they recruited him, but is there other people that they just, children they just kidnapped? Yeah, you know, that's the thing. It, because like, they, yeah. Yeah. that's what just happened to come at like a really good moment to yeah. make it seem like a rescue. Maybe to yeah. Din, like obviously his yeah. memories as a child. But then like, yeah, once he finds yeah. out the extent of what they do, it's mm. going to be interesting. Yeah, because, because keep in mind that um like w w yeah w when they encounter him and he says like you know you're, you're not mandalorians you, yeah you took your helmets off you're not mandalorians and he just said the um what's the name the um axe, yes. axe. says uh it says how oh he's one of them like yeah like you yeah know, like, that's a, uh. yeah and that sort of thing it's like and it just occurred to me as well that like 
maybe i mean there's their fortune blue armor so i don't think they're yeah they're either before or after and just it, it's it's a point where mole's troops weren't dressed in red yet yeah um and that the ones rescue him couldn't have been um they couldn't have been uh bo's mandalorians because then he wouldn't have been taught the way so no way. yeah it's like probably a group of death watch maybe didn't want to say with maul didn't want to say with Bo, went off and everything going back to old traditions and just started to rebuild this thing yeah but the idea that these guys are all like that bad people and he's been raised and that he thinks the way he's been taught as Mandalorian, that's a lie that's this is he wasn't raised with honor they didn't save him they stole him or they they just happened to they saved his life but they just wanted him to make him a member of their order basically yeah mm. Um, so I in, wonder. In which case, the armorer might kind of be a bad guy. Exactly, that's the thing. I spoke about yeah. this in my reaction. Like, what does that mean for the Mandal? Not the Mandalorian. Sorry, the armorer. Because what if yeah. she knows what they're originally from? Like, why didn't she ever tell them? And like, well, obviously, maybe to like hide the mm. fact of how dangerous the group is. But like, why was she hiding it? And like like yeah. what what other thing like what else is she hiding that's the yeah. thing like yeah i would hope it's not something like she wants din to take the child to the jedi because she's planning on killing jedi or something like in like mandalorian's old yeah. ways of they hated jedi i don't yeah. really see why she do that but it is possible that she could be using him yeah um, that's true it could be possibility like especially if it's like the old ways of the the mandalorians mandalorians hate jedi yeah. You know, or at least the, they And did. she said that too. Yeah. When they, didn't ask about it. Yeah. Race of enemy warriors, sorcerers. It did occur to me that maybe if Moff Gideon is on Navarro and his fights Din and the others on Navarro before they then go looking for Ahsoka, that maybe um, if Moff Gideon's there and he uses the Darksaber and like attacks, mm. attacks Din with or something, because then you could do an interesting thing of they could set up that this is the first time Din's seen a lightsaber and then he can talk to Ahsoka about it because, yeah. you know, she's yeah, the yeah. expert on it. So then if that's when he first encounters the Darksaber is getting attacks him with it in this next episode and then we can cut to next episode he can mention or something or notice Ahsoka's carrying two of them and be slightly wary of her because of that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, also, yeah it just occurred to me, this, this, the symbolism of what we have here, that there's a Darksaber, there's this black saber and Ahsoka's has her two white sabers. They're just gonna be, oh, that's that's a nice touch. Actually, the two lightsabers that we got so far, we got yeah. white and black ones. Yin and you, Yang. Just yeah. bringing it up to, do you still think that Dark Vader? Yeah. Uh, that you guys okay. Have? We, yeah. we gotta we gotta address the elephant in the room here. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah. So it seemed pretty concrete though. So yeah. what we had. So a Twitter page, that's a, a Star Wars Twitter page I follow, had this this big theory about how they fought Sasha's character was um was a night owl working with Bo. Um, <laughs> And I had this like four tweet reply to that explaining why I'm pretty sure that isn't the case. And then last night, this guy just commented and just said, Welp. That was it. Like, you know, <laughs> I just have, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. I, know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I screwed up. Same thing happened on Reddit. I had my, my post on um, yeah. Star Wars speculation. I just shared a screenshot of it. I think, yeah, Sasha Banks okay. playing in a backlight of the beyond Mandalorian season two speculation. Someone commented two hours yeah. ago, this didn't age well. I was like, yeah. no, I didn't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know, because I so opened good. my reaction as well, saying like, oh, yeah, like that theory. And then I was like, okay, never mind. Uh, no, yeah. So, uh, yeah, okay, uh, we were wrong. Um, <laughs> yeah, we were, we were very wrong. Uh, but in fairness, and you see it in the, in the wide shot, it's a close-up of her watching Dinner the Crowd and then, and, and mind you, I think this is what you said, Zan. I think definitely the hundred percent they were trying to paint her as just being. Oh yeah, they were just, trying to make her look bad. They're trying to make her look bad, and they're trying to make her make you focus on her, so you're not suspecting Bo to turn up. It's just yeah, a misdirection, they, they, right? It was they did that very well. It was yeah. perfect misdirection, I think. Get, yeah. They got everybody thinking about thinking about Sasha. Thinking, okay, so who who is she? Who's she really? Who's yeah. she connected to? What's yeah. what's going on with her? And got ever since episode guessing. one came out, then, that's all everybody's been talking about. Like who's yeah. Sasha's character, yeah. even though she hasn't been in those episodes. So yeah. that's yeah. amazing marketing now, as well. Good yeah, on them. Yeah. Are you satisfied with what we got? I, I am satisfied with we got, what we got. And that being said, I am still quietly optimistic um about the vader's lightsaber thing maybe like you say it could be a gideon has it somehow it could be really I it mean, just it yeah. just comes down to the fact that um 
that 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 we saw that image there's a proper you mm-hmm. know official production thing that the 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 lighting team got um as the wrap gift of like the two lightsabers clashing it's definitely a dark saber and that looks a lot like vader's lightsaber so if that isn't vader's lightsaber it's a lightsaber that looks a lot like it and i don't know what it is but i don't know there's another I, lightsaber in the series i guess it could be mm. like just the design of it maybe looking maybe. like da- darth vader's but i mean it could also either mean like Yes, Darth Vader's lightsaber. Someone has it, or Gideon has it, or it could be Ahsoka or somebody else. Yeah, or it's just a misdirection. Yeah, again, and they did, it could and be they did, just and, misdirection. Yeah. And they didn't want to show the um, they didn't want to show the dark saber clashing with Ahsoka's lightsaber. But oh, yeah, if they true. if they showed yeah. that, yeah, everyone yeah. would have been like, oh yeah, Ahsoka's yeah. in the show. But I, I'm only like still wondering if it could be a thing just because of the fact that it's like an official rap gift thing, and I don't think they put a fake information on a rap gift mm. thing when it's like all the cr- when the crew are getting it, you know? Mm. It's true. Yeah, they would have just said, "Don't take a picture of it." Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but the fact that someone took a picture and posted online, yeah. like, what do you yeah. think is going to yeah. happen? People are yeah. obviously going to theorize. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whoever but, that yeah. worker was. <laughs> oh wait, I actually did want to talk about the Empire a bit because, dude, that part where they are literally committing suicide i was just like this is the dark side that you and i mitch we spoke about yeah. this at like 4 a.m this is the stuff yeah, we want I, to see this is the sort of thing of yeah the empire is just they're they're doing whatever they can to keep themselves alive yeah, yeah. exactly to well it's that's something something else going back to um uh the aftermath books and that it's sort of um uh operation cinder true is introduced in that yeah. and so the empire just like before this thing of like once the Death Star was destroyed, Operation Cinder went out, which is okay. Uh, all major Imperial moths just like uh, raise all of these planets and so on. And then mm. in the Alphabet Squadron novel series, which I've been reading recently, there's a bit where they actually sort of like touch upon that a little more and how it's theorized that the whole point of it, and this is like in in universe, it's theorized by people that this is what the point of it was. Is this is a way to root out the traitors and those that are like just like eternally loyal to the empire and the imperial cause and will do will do anything to like you know and not worry about the consequences and not worry about being caught and being judged for it and it's like obviously like Mm. this is the empire that they're dealing with right now this is all the people that like lived through all of these war crimes while all of the others either surrendered or said no we lost we're going to surrender we're going to give up these are all the people that kept on fighting Because even I was thinking as well, like, I was thinking either it's secretive or it's just, like, they're trying not to show, like, weakness. So it's, like, I was thinking, like, it's either to keep secret or, like, yeah, yeah, do that. Both as well, I'd say. Yeah, because I was going to say, because I said this in my reaction, like, it's, like, if something goes wrong, they eliminate the problem, like, straight away. So I was, like, it's so dark, I didn't expect it. So that's why I was, like, oh, my God, we need more (laughs) of this. It's, like, what they're setting up seems to be very similar to, like, and what we're, what we're talking about seems to be a, a theme a lot this season is the the Empire is phasing into the First Order. And, like, we're getting close to that. Yeah. Yeah. And that's something, that's something like, I like that better than sort of what it was kind of kind of the way it sort of seemed like at the start of The Force Awakens, where it's like, this is a separate entity, the First Order. It's like, no, this is mm. this is everyone that, like, they, in secret, have been building this up in the, in the background, which is why I said I'd like if Gideon has, like, at some point... Uh, maybe some of his stormtroopers are wearing this armor. It looks like the next phase of stormtrooper armor looks like on the way to the first order stormtrooper gear. That but like design... you said, like it's phasing. So like that's like, the important yeah. part that we're seeing that phasing yeah. towards the next stage of the first yeah, order. Like that look, yeah. Like that looked like, yeah, just like the look, just the look of those blasters. It looked like that looked more like a first order weapon than an imperial weapon. Just but jumping. again, yeah. this also gives more yeah. essence to like the new trilogy as well yeah just like the yeah. fact that they just didn't suddenly appear yeah, out of I, I, like hey i much prefer the notion of in, instead of the the empire is destroyed and then the first order rises up out of nowhere 30 years later mm. and fights back i much prefer the notion that the empire is destroyed they all went into hiding rebuilt for 30 years in the backgrounds and then yeah. came back to power which is the same as what Palpatine was doing that exactly. Yeah. So that's why I like the what they're doing yeah. in the Mandalorian. It's like they're showing like the like the Empire is still alive, but it's mm. secretive. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. and then like obviously in the trilogy, they bring it out and show like, yeah, that's that, and it's yeah. like at the their full power. So. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I'm I'm intrigued to see more of that, and I do de- definitely think that'd be really cool if like maybe Gideon has to maybe he has like his personal guard 
like it was too like sort of maybe death trooper like armor but it's sort of on the way to first order style death trooper armor like sort of <laughs> sort possibilities of like, like a yeah. like yeah like a, i just i just will see that i think there's be even if it doesn't look now it's like first order I'm just a next phase of stormtrooper armor yeah. showing they're still yeah. producing stuff i think so know? if it's just like it a like a specific thing of like okay yeah these are the you've all right these are you've seen all of the other stormtroopers these are fresh off the assembly line brand new armor brand new weapons you know mm. just so yeah. like there's a Perhaps- scene of him just like presenting Perhaps like okay you see the these end guys of this season or maybe next season yeah, maybe maybe yeah. yeah i haven't got anything else yeah neither right. do i i think all i've right. got everything yeah i guess that's it then cool all right we're just uh yeah i guess just excited for next week and then hopefully the setup of uh okay. setup of ahsoka yeah Hell yeah yeah we, yeah. we got a lot's gonna happen uh very quickly and as i said the fact that I, we, i'm pretty sure we haven't seen anything the trailers from past next week Meaning the next four episodes, probably starting one with Soka's in, we there's nothing Blind. they've shown us. Yeah, we have no idea what's gonna happen. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. May the force be with you, and this is the way. This, this is the way. way. Yay! Hey, there we go. Bo! Bo! <laughs> Bo! <laughs> Bo. <laughs> uh, yeah, there we go. Good night, Yay. everybody! <laughs> <laughs>